Okay, this is a short little lesson on the new Leopard OSX. And um, I just wanted to point out something about spaces that I haven't seen people point out before, at least on the self-help YouTube videos. And I thought it would be very useful. Um, first, I can show you simply if you don't know how to use them, spaces, how to use them. In my opinion, the best way to use it is um, control and then the arrow keys. That's the what they put on your default system. Um, people can change how they do it on the keyboard if they prefer. But I left it the default way because I like that. Anyway, you push control and then the, th the four arrow keys under the shift button, the up, down, right, and left arrow keys. So if you want, I'm in space one. As you can see in this uh, top place right here, you click on it and it tells you, well you don't even have to click on it, it tells you right away in this um, square icon I'm in, in space one. So in order to change that, I go control right arrow and that changes me to space two and it shows the arrow where it's going right here and this thing and then the down will take you to space four which is all my um, messengers I keep there uh, if you go into the spaces preferences under system preferences um, it says spaces and expose you can um, what they call you can um, you can actually organize, here I'll show you, you can actually, system preferences, I have a funny icon for that because I changed it, and um, expose and spaces, and then as you can see, I attuned all of my applications to open up in certain spaces whenever they open up. So if I turn on my computer and I have certain programs that come on at login, or even if I just double click on an icon to open it, the program up, um, it'll automatically go into the spaces I assigned it over here. All you do is push the plus button, you know, and um, you're good to go as far as that. Um, I'm going to try the zoom function because I never did that before, at least on a video. Uh, so you can see everything clearer. And I did in order to do that all I did was push control and then scroll on my mouse pad um, and then in order to get it back to the regular view you just um, go backwards control and then you know undo the scrolling reverse your scrolling so that was it sorry that was a side lesson not planned but um, Anyway, so this is back to another screen. Control, and if you keep pushing the right arrow, it automatically goes in a certain order. It goes from starting off at square one, pushing the right, it says it goes to square two. Then you push right again, and it'll go diagonal. I don't know why they choose it that way, but I guess that's how it goes. And then to four. I guess because it goes in order that way. Um, one, two, three, four. That's why it does that. But if you don't want to push it that many times to go diagonally right away, this is the thing that I really want to teach you that I like and I didn't know about. I want it to teach you how to switch diagonally right away without going through you know, right, right, until it goes to the right diagonal. To switch from space one to space four, which is that diagonal jump, you hold the control key, the arrow, the up arrow and the right arrow will, at the same time, oh wait, okay, for some reason it's opposite. I thought it was different, I just learned this today. but. Go back to space one. If you push the left arrow and the up arrow, it'll take you. It'll take you to 
uh, space four. Now, if you do the down arrow and the right arrow, I believe it would do the opposite. It would take you to space four from one. You have to kind of fool around with it until you get comfortable how it works. Um, but let me go back to space. It's in space one now. I'm going to push the down arrow and the right arrow, and it takes me automatically to space four where I originally wanted to go. If I'm in space two, like right now, and I push the down arrow and the left arrow, it takes you automatically to space three in that. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. Sorry I didn't have it perfectly down before I showed you, but you get the point. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tip for the new Mac Leopard OXS. Thank you.